Hello and welcome to Channel 2S, I'm your host, Second Soundwave. Gundam Build Divers has passed its halfway mark and that means we have a new opening with new mobile suits revealed. I'm going to be going through all the new suits teased in the intro, so if you don't want to be spoiled as to what's coming up in Build Divers, you might not want to watch this video. If you're one of those people, click away now. If you're not one of those people, keep on watching. The biggest reveal this episode was a mobile suit we actually saw in the show itself, not just in the intro. This is the upgrade to the 00 Diver, the 00 Sky. This is that kit we saw in that leaked list that was labeled 00 Destiny. Because the mobile suit appeared in the actual episode itself, we even have front and back images of the real animation model to go off of. This looks like it's going to be a brand new model. Because of the stand-in name that was given to it, a lot of people were expecting this to be heavily based off the Destiny, but it actually looks like it draws from a lot of different suits. The way the head's shaped looks a little bit like the Gundam Age 2, the giant shoulder cannons remind me a little of the Age 3, and the blue armor on the arms does still give off some slight Destiny vibes. Of course, there are still some elements of the original 00 divers still present here. We got the GN drives on the shoulders and those little flaps coming off the front of them. The blue pieces on the legs also bear a passing resemblance to the 00 diver ace's kneecaps. I don't know how intentional this is, but I'm also getting a little bit of an O-Gundam vibe from the way the yellow pieces on the chest are shaped. From the back, I'm getting some massive age vibes, especially age 3 with the way both the backpack and the back of the legs are shaped. This suit has very stocky, very square legs, and that was one of the signature design traits of the Federation style suits from age. And the way that backpack is shaped with the little piece coming from the middle kind of reminds me of the age 3's core fighter. Looking closer at the supposed cannons on the back, it actually looks like they bear a strong resemblance to the sword and rifle stored on the back of the Destiny gun. Them. The piece on the kit's right almost undoubtedly unfolds into a sword. Banda even sent out a little bit of a teaser image of the actual model itself. And like I said earlier, it looks like it's a brand new mold. I think this design is a massive improvement over the original 00 Diver. I was not a fan of that design at all, and even the Ace unit didn't really sell me on it. Which you'll hear about in more detail once I finally get around to reviewing it. But the 00 Sky was not the only new thing we saw in that intro. So the next thing we see in the intro before we actually get to any of the other suits is a custom flag for the Build Divers Force. You also see all the main characters standing on some sort of pirate ship looking thing, so I'm guessing that's going to be their new base of operations for the second half of the show. So the next mobile suit we see is a white recolor of the H2 Magnum heavily inspired by the H2 SP from Gundam Age. It looks like he has some kind of funnels that are made out of the lances from the Age 2 Darkhound. I'm definitely expecting us to see a kit of this, and I'm fully expecting it to be a P-Bandai exclusive. The next new machine we see is in the scene with the Ogre team. Now, I can't remember the main guy's name. I'm just going to call him Red for now. So as the camera pans in on Red, you see a new mobile suit silhouette loom up behind him. Now, we don't get a good look at it. It's very closely cropped into the head and chest of the mobile suit, but it looks like it might be based off the GPO2. Maybe? That's, that's really the best guess I have, because I definitely don't recognize whatever this is. It's either very heavily modified or based off a mobile suit I've never seen before. So Ayame's SD-0 Maru appears to be slightly different as well. It looks like the bird part is now white, just like the basic SD, so her full combined real mode is all white instead of black and white. I think that's a big part of why they've only shown the SD-0 Maru in grayscale up until now, because my suspicion is that the kit is going to be the all-white version that she uses after she joins Build Divers, and the black and white version of the Zero Morrow that she used when she was working with the Break Decal users is probably going to be a PB&I exclusive. Next, we get to see the Jesta Kai further confirming that leaked list we saw before. In fact, I'm just going to say it right now, everything we saw in that list is shown in this intro, so that leak was 100% correct. But anyways, you can see the Jesta Kai right in front of you. If I didn't already know this was based off the Jesta, I honestly would have had no idea what it was. It definitely strays a lot farther from the original Jesta than I was envisioning. It looks like the main gimmick for this suit is a giant satellite cannon backpack similar to what you see with the Gundam X and Double X. There's giant panels on the back that fold open to form an X and he has two huge shoulder cannons. We don't get to see the cannons actually fire in the intro, but I guarantee you these weapons are based off the X and Double X. We also see a new Build Divers avatar. From the looks of this, I'm guessing this is probably the avatar of that girl that works at the Gundam base. It looks like it's kind of based off Sailor's flight suit from original Gundam. It's got some little cat ears, it's got like a blowtorch weapon thing. In fact, it looks like her gun's actually an airbrush that's connected by a hose to her backpack. That's kind of cool. With the direction Build Fighters and Build Divers have been going recently, I would not be surprised at all if we got a kit of this. Okay, I know this isn't really new because the kit's been out for like a month, but I just want to point out that we do see the Grimoire Red Beret using the Tilt Rotor backpack in this intro. So hopefully we'll be seeing this thing in action really soon. The next suit we see is the Gundam Love Phantom, so hopefully that one's going to be playing a little more of a role as well. 
Okay, here we go. So this is really cool. So remember the two Impulse Gundams? There was like the blue one and the red one? Well, it turns out that they're actually not just straight up recolors of each other. There are some significant differences between them. So if I had to describe the way these two are customized, I'd say they were given an age two makeover. These things are customized so hard that they almost look like full on age suits. The blue one has a cannon that looks like it's straight off the age three. And then the red one has a non beam scythe and a shield that kind of looks like the one you see with the clanch. It's also a bit more of a pinkish purple than red. And like a few people were speculating in the comments on the last video, these two suits are used by the two clanch pilots from the champions team. In hindsight, it was kind of obvious. And it looks like the pink one's weapon is actually a spear, not a scythe. So not quite as cool, but still pretty neat. I'm happy to see there's a significant amount of difference between these two suits, because part of me was kind of concerned that they'd just be flat recolors of each other and that would have been kind of boring. Next, we see an SD Gundam combiner. Now this isn't actually anything new. In fact, this isn't even anything specifically for build divers. This is actually something we've seen a while ago. I think these got announced alongside build divers, but they were treated like a separate Gashapon line. These things are just little Gashapon SDs that can combine to form like this big Megazord Gundam. They were just this low profile Gashapon announcement that Bandai made that nobody really got excited over, but it looks like they are gonna be making an appearance in the show to help promote them a little bit. Now, oddly enough, it looks like they're piloted by a new force, which is a little weird because I would have kind of expected something like this to be piloted by Ayame's old team. I guess they're just trying to show that there's more than one force in build divers that uses SDs. I guess it isn't really that surprising because the CRV could do this in its original universe, but we do get to see the build divers version of the CRV go Trans Am, which is pretty cool. And it also looks like both the CRV pilot and Tiger Wolf are sticking with their original suits for now. Yes, okay, right here. This is what I was talking about. We actually see in the intro the 00 Sky pulling that sword off his back and it works exactly like how I said it would. It's a big old shipbreaker sword just like the Destiny Gundam had. It looks like the RX-0 Maru has another new weapon that we haven't seen yet. She throws out like these little colored balls and they explode into a cloud of smoke with these little SD Gundam dummies in them. I guess that shouldn't really be that much of a surprise since smoke bombs are kind of a ninja staple. However, what's definitely not a ninja staple is one of those dummies transforming into a giant cannon that she can use. That's pretty cool. And finally, it looks like the last thing we're gonna see is the 00 Sky using another new feature. It looks like they're incorporating elements from as many lead Gundams as possible because not only does he have the Destiny influence, not only does he have the Age influence and all that other stuff that I talked about before, but he also has a G Gundam style shining finger attack. They really are trying to jam in just as much as they can into this suit. I'm really glad to see that and it helps make this thing feel like so much more of an upgrade over the 00 Diver. Seriously, that thing was so underwhelming. But they're making up for it and that's the important part. So there you go guys, that was the second opening for Gundam Build Divers. One thing that I noticed about that intro is outside of one shot, they didn't show the Jestakai very much. Most of the times when you'd see Yuki's mobile suit, it would still be the GM3 Beam Master. So it might be a little while until we see the Jesta. I also wanted to show you guys these pictures I found of the Love Phantom Gundam, because these have apparently been around for a while, but I've only just now come across them. This gives us a much better look at the design than what we've seen before, and we can get a really good idea of what this kit is made out of. So the main body of this thing is Strike Freedom, but it looks like he has the leg beam emitters from the Infinite Justice the Destiny Gundam's head and arm guards, and the wing pack from the Strike Noir. And of course, he also has the beam scythe. Looking at the way his shoulders are shaped, I think there might be some kind of beam emitters in those as well. This thing is basically a physical personification of Gundam Seed. And I think that's pretty cool. I like how both this and the 00 Sky are going towards the direction of instead of being based off of particular mobile suits, they're just kind of amalgamations of a bunch of previous designs, kind of bringing together the best of everything. I think that's a really cool direction for them to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more cool Gunpla content. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.